that among the Tarkaras of Krishna, gopis are the best. So when Krishna is surrounded by those associates, at that time, all Aishwarya, all Madhurja, all opulence, all sweetness, all beauty, everything is there to its fullest degree. And Krishna is in that condition, manmat manmatru. That means he is so attractive, he can hold it even cupid. And Lila, my sister, what is the speciality of the pastimes of Krishna? Many incarnations and many forms of Krishna have performed their pastimes, but no one has been bound by the love of their devotees. So, Srila Gurudev began to describe how in the early morning, Madhya Shoda was trying yogurt and she was singing the childhood pastimes of Krishna and she became deeply absorbed in those pastimes. Hearing this, Krishna became attractive and he approached Yashodamaya and he kept his left hand on her veil and his right hand, with his right hand he held the stick, the churning stick. So then Yashodamaya, she saw Krishna and she very happily took him in her lap and gave her breastbone to him and covered him with her cloth. At that time, Bhakti became Bhakti Rasa. Srila Gurudev is using this opportunity to clear the conception. What is Bhakti and what is Bhakti Rasa? So Srila Rupa Goswami Bhai, he has uh, explained uh, all in detail all of the aspects of Bhakti and Bhakti Rasa. What is Bhakti Rasa? In Bhakti Rasa, there are so many there are rasa samagri, that means so many components such as stai bhav, the permanent sentiment and vibhav in the form of kudipan and alangan. These are the things which stimulate the sentiment of the devotee. And then anubhav, subsequent sentiments and sattvic bhavs, ecstatic symptoms which manifest in the body and the avachari bhavs, transitory assisting emotions. These are all called the components of rasa. When these components mix together and become one experience, this is called bhakti rasa. So when Madhya Shoda was giving her breast milk to Krishna, at that time uh, her hairs were standing on end, tears came from her eyes, her body was trembling. In this way, many sattvic bhavs, yavachari bhavs, and other ingredients of rasa, they mixed together and bhakti became Bhakti Rasa. So, this Bhakti Rasa is above the stage of Bhav. Bhav will come afterwards when it develops more, it can become Bhakti Ras in the right circumstances. One will have to be in the association of proper Guru and certain time, place, and circumstance, and then this Bhakti Rasa can be attained. So, then Gurudev commented that Krishna. There was no need for Krishna to suck the milk from the breast of Madhya Shoda. By her natural Vatsalya mood, the milk is flowing. So, this milk of Madhya Shoda, what is that? That is her Vatsalya praying. And her Vatsalya praying is so vast and unlimited that the Kirsagar, the ocean of milk, is only like one drop of the milk in the breast of Madhya Shoda. And on the other hand, Krishna's belly, in Krishna's belly, oh, millions and millions of countless universes are situated there. So Krishna's belly is also unlimited. So Krishna's appetite to drink the milk and his capacity to drink milk is unlimited. And Madhya Shoda's capacity to give milk to Krishna is also unlimited. So when Krishna is taking the breast milk of Madhya Shoda, then one may think, that this will go on forever without any end. So, at that time, nearby there was some milk on the stove which was uh, being heated by fire. And that, that milk was thinking, oh, my life is useless. Why? Because Krishna is taking the milk of Madhya Shoda and this will never end. I will never get the chance myself to personally serve Krishna. So if I cannot serve Krishna, then what is the use of this life? 
So from this, the uh, sentiment of the milk, the sadhana, the practicing devotee in this world should take a very good lesson. What is that lesson? Natana Thakur said, Keno Vajaya Brahma Kisu Kapaya Nathamadasa Keno Nagalu Mariya. Oh, what happiness is there for me in this life? How will I find happiness? Because I have not attained the service of Krishna. Why have I not died long ago? I should give up my life. So if the sadhak is doing bhajan with this sentiment, oh, then he can make advancement. So in, with the same mood, the milk was thinking, alas, being unable to serve Krishna my life is useless, so I should give up my life. And on the pretext of boiling over, the milk was jumping out of the pot and giving up its, about to give up his life in the fire. <coughs>
Shri Buddha is giving an example to illustrate this. Once Radha and Krishna, they were performing their pastimes together and Shivati Radharani has become somewhat fatigued. So she's lying down and resting with her head in the lap of Krishna. And Krishna is very affectionately uh, caressing the hair of Shivati Radharani. At that time, Sri Rupa Manjani is close by and she's taken the lotus feet of Shivati Radharani in her lap. And with great affection, she's very gently massaging the lotus feet of Shivati Radharani. And Rupa, Rati Manjari, who is that? That is the Raghunath Dasma Swami in his eternal form in the past times of Radha Krishna. That Rati Manjari is also close by and fanning. And she's looking towards Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari is in this world, in his sadhana form, Rupa Goswami, the prominent Chikshya Guru of Raghunath Das Goswami. So, Rati Manjari is looking with very, very greedy eyes towards Rupa Manjari and thinking, Oh, when will I be so lucky that you will bestow upon me your Uchista, your remnants? What remnants? That means the remnants of your service to the Lotus Feet of Shrimati Radharani. <coughs> Rupa Manjari, seeing Rati Manjari and understanding her internal mood, she called, come, come here. And she gave the remnant of her service to Rati Manjari. So this is called the uh, mercy of a Sadhguru. Guru. By when the Guru is pleased with his disciple, he can bestow the adhikar, the qualification to directly serve Shrimati Radharani. So, Sri <coughs> Rupa Swami, he has given rasa samagri. He has described all the ingredients of rasa. But only having ingredients doesn't make rasa. For example, Gurudev uh, told earlier, and this one was four parts, so I explained here. If you want to make some um, sugars, what lemon drink, and you take five kilos of sugar and one teaspoon of uh, water and so much lemon and you mix them together, it will not be any kind of tasteful drink. When the water is in the correct proportion and there's the right amount of sugar, the right amount of lemon juice, everything, then we can say this is sugar, this is rasa. So in the same way, the ingredients of rasa have been described by Shri Rupa but who has described the proportions in which all the samagri, all the components of rasa should be mixed together? That was Raghunath Das Goswami. And he has done that in his Vilak Kusumanjali and Sri Vajabhilas Kaur. So, now Sri Gurudev is explaining that if the Guru, being so qualified, and such a qualified Guru is very, very merciful, if he sees his disciple serving him with making full endeavor, with full energy and enthusiasm and preaching so much, on seeing this, what will happen to the, the Guru? His heart will just blossom with joy upon seeing the high endeavors of his disciple. And at that time, he will bestow his mercy upon the disciple. So here, the example it is of Madhya Shoda, she's like Guru and the milk is like the disciple. Why? Because she's directly serving Krishna, directly giving her own breast milk. But seeing the uh, very intense desire of the milk to serve Krishna, she's leaving her own direct service to go and pacify the milk and give the milk a chance to also serve Krishna. In the same way, when the Guru sees the intense desire in the heart of his disciple, of leaving his own direct service, he will come and he will pacify uh, the, his disciple, restore his mercy upon the disciple, and give his disciple also a chance to serve the lotus feet of Radha and Krishna. So, Madhya Shoda, she put Krishna down and she ran to the milk, oh don't worry, don't worry, and she sprinkled some water on the milk, and in this way the milk stopped boiling over. So, 
The fact that Madhya showed us put Krishna down is very astonishing. Why? Because Putana, being a very powerful demon, and Putana has the strength of 60,000 elephants. So when, she, when Krishna was taking her breast, at that time she tried to put Krishna down. She said, oh child, leave me. But she could not put him down. And at that time Krishna was only six days old. Very small baby with not much strength. Now, and Krishna is not even trying to hold on to Putana. He's not applying his Shakti. Krishna is Sarva Shakti man. He has all power and potency. He has Agatana Patiyasi Shakti. The power to even make the impossible possible. So Krishna has so many powers. And when Putana was trying to put him down, he was not applying his power at all. And he was very, very small at that time. And still she could not put him down. But now we see Krishna is older. And, and Madhishwara wants to put him down. But Krishna doesn't want to be put down. And he's applying all of his Shakti. He's Sarva Shakti man. And he's applying his complete Shakti. He's holding on to Madhishwara like a monkey. With both arms, with both legs, and also with his mouth. Holding very tight, as tightly as he can. Yet still Madhya showed up with only one hand, she just said, sit down. Put him down in a moment. How is it so? Oh, this is by because Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, is controlled of by the love of Madhya Shoda. In the presence of her frame, he becomes like a homeless child. If I'm explaining like so, I think that Radha Tamota, we cannot finish even in two, three months. <laughs> so if you like this, I will explain like so. But I cannot finish in two, three months. So as you will order me, I will explain like so. कृष्ण कहते हैं एक हाथ में देख बिना परिश्रम में सब शक्ति मान के तेरे को सीधे लगता है आप कृष्ण सब शक्ति लाइव जब हम पालो ना तब हम दौड़ तो कर बड़ी कर देला क्रोध हो सकता तार इच्छा के दो आताने ना तब हम कृष्ण एक तब क्रोध हो गया हाथे पालो ना आर तापुरुष उत्पन्न करेगा लो, 
For this, we have to apply the definition of Shura Bhakti given by Shura Rupa Goswami Bhai. Anyabhyashita Shuryam Jnana Kama Dena Pratham Anukuya Krishna Anu Shiranam Bhakti Uttama. Uttam Bhakti, transcendental devotional service, is the cultivation of all endeavors of the body, mind, and words, and of moods which are anukul to Krishna. So here, Srila Gurudev, uh, quoting from the commentary on this word by Srila Vishnu Chakri Thakur, is discussing the speciality of this word anukul. Bhakti is the endeavor and mood which is anukul to Krishna. What does anukul mean? So some liberal translators have translated the word anukul pleasing to Krishna, but Krishna Chakra said no. Bhakti is not the, the mood and the activity which is pleasing to Krishna. Anukul to Krishna. Anukul does not mean pleasing. Why? Oh. He's saying that if we take the meaning of the word anukul to, to be pleasing, then two faults will come in Srinivasa Goswami's definition of Uttam Bhakti. One fault is called Avyakti Dosh. And the other one is called Abhivyakti. Abhivyakti dosh means the fault of under extension, uh, under extension of the definition. In other words, that the definition is too tight, it is too short and constrictive to include within itself everything which is really bhakti. The definition is too narrow. And Abhivyakti dosh means that the definition which is given is so broad that some things which are not bhakti could fall within that definition. So here, Srila Gurudev is explaining by giving some examples. First of all, we see that when Madhishoda put Krishna down, he became angry. Also when Madhishoda bound Krishna, he did want to be bound. But anyway, Madhishoda was binding him against his will, apparently. So, if we say, say that bhakti is pleasing to Krishna, then these activities are not pleasing to Krishna. And then it would mean that the activity of Madhishwara is not bhakti. But really, her activity is bhakti. Why? Because she has seva bhav. Everything she's doing is to serve Krishna, and it is for the benefit of Krishna. It is for his kalyan, for his ultimate auspiciousness. Madhishwara, she's thinking about Krishna's future and how he will be uh, satisfied in the future also. Krishna, he may become angry or may not become angry, but we should not measure whether the activity of Mother Shashoda is bhakti or not by looking at Krishna's mood. Not by Krishna's mood. Krishna does not know what's good for him, but his mother knows. So here, Srila Gurudev explained that Mother Yashoda is thinking that I should take care of this milk. Why? Because if the milk is ruined, I will not be able to make yogurt and, and um, curd, sandesh, and so many sweets uh, if this milk is ruined. From my breast milk, I cannot make all yogurt, butter, sandesh, and all of these things. So this milk is essential. Why? For Krishna's happiness. So she can put Krishna down. And yet still, though Krishna became upset, Still, this is Shuddha Bhakti, Uttam Bhakti. Why? Because it's Anukul Yena Krishna Anu Shilanam. It is uh, not, there is no mood which is against Krishna in this. It is a favorable mood. Alternatively, if we say that Anukul means pleasing to Krishna, then we see that when Krishna came to Mathura, he began to fight with Chanur and Mustik. And in fighting with Chanur and Mustik, he was, became so happy. He was enjoying this fight. So the fighting of Chanur and Mustik gave great joy to Krishna. So if bhakti is the activity which gives pleasure to Krishna, by definition, then it must be that Chanura and Mustik are great devotees. But this is completely wrong. Why? Because they have no seva bhavana. They have no mood, I should serve Krishna. They have no mood that in the future Krishna should be happy. I should take care of Krishna. They're trying to kill Krishna. And therefore, if we say that only pleasing Krishna is bhakti, then there will be a fault in the definition. This is called ati vyakti dosh, or overextension of the de definition. 
they have given up even Krishna also. They want never want alone Krishna. They have everything given up for me. So how can I can give up? So she, so that I cannot walk. If you want to take me, you can take me. Then Krishna told that if you should come on me. But Radha said, I am unable to do it. You can. Then Krishna took him in his. He wanted. But at once, Radha was so much observed that she forgot that he is the Krishna. And he missed Krishna in his modern mood. And Krishna was there, but she was not looking.
This is another temple we're coming to now. This is the Gopinath. Godiyama. Krishna Korbe, Ejana Ita, Radharani Kunja Sheva Kunja Matun, Sheva Kunja Mane, Krishna Sheva Koren Radharani, Ejana E Kunja Hoche Radharani, E Kanete Krishna, Konurokam Havate, Kakti Mamti Koreti, E Kunja Te Praves Kore, Shivati Radhika Sheva Koreche, Ejana Namoche Radha. <laughs> Radharani Kunja. Oh, this place is known as Radharani Kunji, Globe of Srimati Radhika. Why? Because this is, un, un, this is under Sheva Kunja. Yeah, Sheva Kunji ke antargat hai. Uh, uh, within the area of Sheva Kunja. And he, oh, this is more important. That here, this kunj is belong, belongs to Srimati Radhika. Anyhow, Krishna told, uh, prayed, requested Gopi that, oh, I must go in this kunj. And thus he came in this kunj and he was serving oh, Srimati Radhika and playing. So this, this kunj is Radha kunj. Ekarate. Hmm? Amade Guru Maharaj Jero Aar Amade Rio Chha Chilo Jekta Mothok Binda Bane Kothao Binda Bane Amade Rio Mothok Chilo Na Tapan Amra Shokali Mila Amaru Parate Bhardae Mathurate Ami Chila Ta Amra De Proposal Niya Holo Nau Deepay Guru Maharaj Jero Aapar Kate Paar Je Binda Bane Tekta Mothok Aau Chhi Eum Narayan Maharaj Ejjanda Chesta Paro तबन अमरा चेष्टा करते लगला तो अमरा देश चेष्टा ते एक तीस स्थान जेखने ते एकन वर्तमाने रूपसनातन गौड़ियों मार्चा चे उरा जाचाई करे बिना परिशा ते एक ती परिशा नामीय उटा मधर के दान कर और ठीक सही समय ते पुजपास बामन महाराज संग संबंध को नरकम होलो उखन कार को नराशा है राय फैमिली तारा बामन म एक स्थान कुछ स्वार्थ के ऊपर रहते देवार प्रस्ताव कर। तब पर चित्ति नहीं देख लें जैसे बोनोरो का एक टाटा मोट है खाने हो, एक चिंता करे तिनी तादेश शब्दों ग्रहण करे वो एक मोट टके 
তিনি নেবার স্বীকৃতি দেন আর আমিও ওখান থেকে জানাইলাম যে সে আমাদের মঠ একটা ওখানে দেন বিনা কোন শর্তে একটা আমাদের মঠ সংগ্রহিত হয়েছে তারপরে আর দুটি মঠ হয়ে গেল এটাকেও ছাড়তে পারা গেল না আর ওটাও ছাড়তে পারা গেল না তখন একটু মঠ রাখা হলো তখন তার নামকরণ হলো শ্রী গোপীনাথ গৌড়ীয় মঠ আর তাহার নামকরণ করা হলো শ্রী রূপসনাথন গৌড়ীয় মঠ তখন থেকে এই দুই মঠ একটি মঠ তার দুইটি স্থান আর ও এখন মোট বিস্তার হয়ে গেল এই গোপীনাথের কত দূর এখন এ পারে ও পারে সব গৌড়ীয়কে শ্রী গোপীনাথ গৌড়ীয় মঠে সব এখন দুটা তিনটাই আমাদের এখানে থেকে স্থান এখন বর্তমানে হল এইখানে তার সেবা হচ্ছে আর এখানেও তো আমাদের মঠের ব্রহ্মচারী থাকেন ওখানে থাকেন আর এখান থেকে নিকটে যমুনা এই জন্য আরো তার মহিমা অধিক যদি যমুনা এখন ওই দিকে চলে গেছেন এখন এই দিকে নয় তো থাকলে আমরা এখানে পূজা ইত্যাদি করতাম আমরা সেই পূজাটা করব যেদিন আমরা একাদশীতে পরিক্রমা করব ওই কেশি ঘাটে আজকে যেতে হলে প্রাথমায় যেতে হবে ভিতরে এই জন্য আমরা যাচ্ছি ও আফটার ডিন ইংলিশ আবিষ্কার বাদ আপ লোক 
This is where the Yamuna River is now. Let's see. Having a very wide valley or sandbags. That means it has been moving from you know the original place and moving and moving. This is the original place now and it's now so small. It's a very old temple.
of Rasa So, Narutam Thakur prays, 
Oh, 
Right? 
This is just very close to Ram Radha Rama Temple. Chakrati Thakur, 
the highest uh, Rasik Vaishnava in our Gaudiya Sampradaya. He has written so many Rasa characters, Krishna Bhavanamrita, and commentary also on Srimad Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, and many other literatures which are so important. So here we can have darshan of Sisi Radha Gokulananda and also Sisi Radha Vinod. Sisi Radha Vinod, they are the worshipful deities of Sri Lokana Das Goswami, the spiritual master, the Diksha Guru of Naratam Das Thakur. Also here, we can have the darshan of the deity of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that was person, personally worshipped by Naratam Das Thakur. And also, C.C. Radha Vijay Govind, these are the worshipful deities of Srila Baldevi Devushan Prabhu. Also, here you can see at the front of the altar on a small single sign, one Govardhan Shila. Where did this Govardhan Shila come from? When Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying in Jagannath Puri, one devotee, Shankarananda Sarasvati, he came to Puri from Vrindavan and he gave a gift to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One Shalagram Shila, one Govardhan Shila, and one Gunjamala. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was so happy on receiving these things. Sometimes he would hold this Shalagram Shila to his heart, sometimes on his head, sometimes to his eyes, always crying. The Shalagram Shila was always wet with the tears of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he worshipped this Shalagram Shila in this way, by his moods, for three years. After that, he gave it to Raghunath Das Goswami. And Raghunath Das Goswami worshipped this Govardhan Shila. And he, when he came here to Vrindavan, he worshipped the Govardhan Shila here in Vrindavan. And now today we are lucky to have the darshan of this Govardhan Shila. Outside, we just, in the compound here, you will find the Samadhi Mandirs. They are Pushpa Samadhi Mandirs of Lokanath Das Goswami, the Diksha Guru of Narutam Das Thakur. And then, you can also find there the, the Vishnu Thakur Thakur's Pushpa Samadhi Mandir and next to that Narutam Das Thakur's Pushpa Samadhi Mandir and next to his Samadhi Mandir there is a Samadhi Mandir of Ganga Narayan Chakravati, very intimate disciple of Narutam Das Thakur. Ganga Narayan Chakravati, uh, his disciple was Krish, uh, Krishna Charan Chakravati. His disciple was Radharaman Chakravati and his disciple was Vishnu Chakravati Thakur. So, so many of our Guru Varga, uh, their samadhis are here. So this is a very important place for us. Before coming to this place, we went to the Samadhi Mandir of Gopal Bhakta Goswami and before that the temple of his worshipful deity, Sisi Radha Ramanji. There, Pujapad uh, Rasananda Prabhu has spoken very nice Harikata. I will now give a brief, translation in brief. So, this, that Radharaman temple is a very prominent place for Gaudiya Vaishnavas because at the time of the uh, of King Aurangzeb, one Muslim leader, he would attack many places and smash all the temples. So, at that time, Govindaji, Gopinath, Madan Mohan, and Radha Madhav, and most of the deities of Vrindavan, they were protected by Rajman Singh, one king in uh, Jaipur, and he took the deities from Vrindavan to protect them to Jaipur. But, she see, Radha Raman, he is so very small, so he was hidden by one Brahmana, and he stayed here till this day, so he has not left this place. Then, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, he was born in a Vaishnava family in South India in Shirangam. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, after taking sannyas, was touring in South India, he came to Shirangam and he did kirtan there in the company of thousands of Vaishnavas. At that time, one uh, Brahmin uh, called Venkata Bhatta invited Chaitanya Mahaprabhu because he was sannyasi, invited him, please stay in my home and you can stay with me for four months of Chattu Masya. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu accepted his invitation. So then when Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying there, at that time Venkata Bhatta, his brother was there also, Trimala Bhatta and his other brother Prabodhananda Sarasati Thakur. At that time, Gopal Bhatta, he was not Goswami, he was a small boy. 
and he would serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he had so much love and affection for Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. While Chaitanya Mahaprabhu stayed there at Chaturmasya, he put a question to Venkatabhata. He asked him, Oh, you are in the Sri Sampradaya, Ramanuja Sampradaya, and your worshipful deity, deities are Lakshmi and Narayan. But I have one question for you. Narayan is the uh, controller of all opulence, and he is the lord of Vaikuntha, Lakshmi Pati Narayan. But why is it that Lakshmi Devi herself has given up the company of Narayan, giving up Vaikuntha, and came to Vrindavan, and he's trying to uh, enter the Rasalila of Krishna. And Krishna is only a cowherd boy. He's just walking with bare feet here and there in the jungle, and uh, taking care of cows. How is it possible? When Venkatabhata heard this, he said, Oh, you are explaining this, but I think that, uh, where, can you tell me, where is the evidence for this? Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, oh, there is so much evidence. In Sh Sh uh, Srimad Bhagavatam, it is written, one verse spoken by Nagar Patnis, Kasyana Bhavosya Nadeva Vidmahe Tavangi Renum Sparashari Karaha Yadvanchaya Sri Lalana Charatapo Vihaya Kamam Sujiram Drida Bhattaha The Nagar Patnis have said that, yes, the Goddess of Fortune, Lakshmi Devi herself, leaving everything, has come to Vrindavan and is doing very severe austerities to attain the fruit dust of Krishna. So Venkata Bhattu said, oh, this is not a very uh, important thing because Krishna and the Narayan, they are the same. Siddhanta Tasta Veda, Ti Shisha Krishna Surupaya, Rasna Krishna Te Krishna, Rupa Mesha Rasastiti. That in Siddhanta, Tattu Siddhanta, Krishna and Narayan are one. Krishna is the Vilas Murti of Narayan. This was his idea. Narayan is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And his Vilas Murti, one expansion just for doing some pastimes, is Krishna. So his idea was not correct. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told Venkatabhata, Okay, you can, you have said this, but one thing. She went to Belvan to do austerities, but to this day she has never attained her desire. And then Mahaprabhu gave one Praman, evidence from Srimad Bhagavatam. Nayam Sri Anglo Natantara Te Prasada, so Yoshitam Nalinaganda, Rucham Kutanya, Rasutsavasya Buddha Danda Granita Kanta, Lavdari Shamya Buddha Gat Rajabala Binam, Rajasundarinam. At the time of the Ras Lila, Krishna, he danced with the gopis of Vrindavan and embraced their necks with his arms and gave them such favors that even the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi Devi, she cannot attain. So then, when Katabata, he was struck with wonder. Oh, my Lakshmi Devi cannot attain this? And in this way, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gradually, gradually, this guitar is very long, I'll try to shorten it. Gradually, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he persuaded and convinced Venkata Bhatta that actually Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead and Narayan is his Vilas Murti. And all qualities are in Krishna. Krishna is the ocean of all rasa. Akhil rasam rita murti prasimara ruchi rudha ataraka palihi kalita shamalalito radha prayam vidur jayati. Only Krishna is the embodiment of five primary rasas, seven secondary rasas, and all uh, moods and loving service, but not Narayan. Krishna has four qualities Rupa Maduri, the sweetness of his beauty, and Venu Maduri, the sweetness of his flute singing, and the Lila Maduri, the sweetness of his Lilas, and Prema Maduri, the sweetness of the love of his devotees. This sweetness is not present in Lord Narayan. So, therefore, Krishna, he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, then, in this way, all the family of Venkatabhata, they left their upasana, of, that means their worship of Lakshmi Narayan, and they came in our Gaudiya Sampradaya. After a little time, after the Chaturmasya was finished, then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was leaving that place. Gopal Bhatta was a small boy, and he was crying, Oh, please take me with you, take me with you. So, at that time, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu told him, No, no, you should stay here, and you should serve your parents. And then, when they grow old, and when they leave this world, then you can uh, come and meet with me. You can go to Vrindavan. So, what is the teaching here? Rasanand Prabhu is saying, is this the teaching of, a, of a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, that you should serve your parents now, and when they die afterwards, you should do bhajan? No, this is not the teaching. Actually, the parents of Gopal Bhatta, they are Vaishnavas. So, he is giving the teaching, you should serve Vaishnavas and have the association of Vaishnavas. So, he did this, and then he left, and he came to Vrindavan. Being in, first he traveled all over India, and when he was traveling around India, he came to Gandaki Nadi, one river in North India. And there he took 12 uh, Shalagram Shilas. 
So Shalagam Shilas are not Narayan, there are many varieties. And he brought them to Vrindavan and he was worshipping those Shalagram Shilas. But one day, one very wealthy Zamindar, one landowner, was moving in Vrindavan and he was donating all so many ornaments and clothes and dresses to the different deities in Vrindavan. At that time, Gopal Bhakta Goswami was thinking, oh, all the deities in Vrindavan are uh, being decorated so beautifully, but I am worshipping Shalagram Shila. I cannot dress my Shalagram Shila with a dhoti and pitambar and everything because it, Shalagram Shila is round like this. And he was feeling, he had this mood, he wanted to dress his deity with so much shringar. And Bhagavan, he's controlled by the desires of his devotees. So in the night, his Shalagram Shila manifested this form directly and automatically. Radharaman manifested himself, that is the deity we have taken darshan of. So this Dhaban, Mahaprabhu was in Jagannath Puri and Mahaprabhu sent him his own remnant cloth um, in the form of uh, Doran Kopin. So in this way, because Kopin is the uh, symbol of Sanyas, so it is considered that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has given Sanyas to Gopal Bhatta Goswami. And after the disappearance of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Gopal Bhatta Goswami, how you last? On the basis